So I'm going to give you three hints about who today's I'll Tell You What is about. One, she is the reason behind one of the couples I've already covered. Two, she's currently on tour. And three, if you heard her music on a Saturday morning growing up, you knew good and well it was time to get out of bed and help your mama clean the house. I feel like the last one gave it away. But yeah, today's I'll Tell You What is actually going to be about the wedding and marriage of, of the one and only Anita Baker and Walter Bridgeforth. I'll tell you what is a daily deep dive at some of the most epic and memorable weddings and marriages that have occurred throughout Black history. So let's go back to 1985. This was before Anita's Grammys. This was even before Rapture. She meets her soon-to-be husband, Walter, in the mall. She was in the mall looking for shoes and found a lot more. Walter was a marketing specialist for IBM, while at the time, Anita was pursuing her singing career. After about three years of dating, on Christmas Eve, 1988, Walter and Anita get married in her home in the suburbs of Detroit. According to Jet Magazine, this happened about a month shy of her turning 31. She wore a white satin Victorian style gown with lace and pearls, and the gown had a four foot train. As a gift to the couple, her niece played the Carol of the Bells on her clarinet. She said she didn't sing at the wedding, nor did they exchange personal vows. And as a wedding gift, Walter gave Anita a one and a half carat diamond ring. And after the ceremony was over, they listened to the latest Winans album as they decorated the Christmas tree. And don't think that just because they had a cute intimate ceremony that they didn't eat really well. The menu consisted of Cajun shrimp over rice pilaf, yams, canned apples, chicken breast with a light vegetable gravy, Cornish game hen, roast turkey, black eyed peas, and a garden salad. And she kept her wedding a secret because she wanted to have something for herself. And in this Jet Magazine article, she also revealed that she was two months pregnant. And that might have been a surprise to some because she was about to wrap her three-month tour with Luther Vandross. And sadly, shortly after that article came out, Anita miscarried. Some speculated that the stress due to the tour may have contributed to it. Anita and Walter would actually experience two miscarriages before welcoming their two boys into the world. And in January 1993, their oldest son, Walter Baker, was born. And in May 1994, their second son, Edward Carlton, was born. And around that time, Walter had left his job with IBM and was a real estate developer. But sadly, their relationship came to an end. They separated in 2005, and their divorce was finalized about two years later. And after they divorced, they actually ended up back in court. Walter objected to the $12,000 he received as a 50-50 split of royalties from the two albums she released while they were married. He felt like that wasn't the full amount of the profits he should have received. Anita explained her side to the judge. Basically, the divorce settlement that they both signed did not include mechanical royalties. And according to soundcharts.com, because I did not know, mechanical royalties are royalties that are generated each time a musical composition is reproduced. Think about when someone comes up with a mashup and they post it online and then that starts to go viral. Like she can get money off that but he couldn't. The judge agreed with Anita, and according to YourWeb, they requested that a court-appointed expert rewrite the terms with Anita to include more mutually acceptable language. But that was over a decade ago. And as you can tell, Anita is doing quite fine. She is doing her final tour right now. She has reclaimed her masters, and you can actually stream her music on Tidal or Apple Music. Though sometimes these stories end in divorce, there was once a moment of love that was shared. So tell me what you think. I want to know, as always, don't forget to catch up on old videos, follow us on IG and on here, and don't forget to come back tomorrow for another episode of I'll Tell You What, brought to you by Hugh I Do.